weeks now, we've been telling people to avoid non-essential travel, especially to popular spots like the gorge, the coast, and now Mount Hood. Our Jacqueline Abad has more on how people are violating closures around the mountain. On Highway 26, there's signs like this warning people that developed recreation sites are closed. But here in the Mount Hood National Forest and on BLM land, people are going in anyway. There was a line of cars outside the Wildwood Recreation Site. Despite the electronic and park close sign out front, some people went around. Mount Hood National Forest is also dealing with the same issue. There are some people who are violating the recreation site closures and um, and going in. Developed recreation sites are closed in the Mount Hood National Forest and on BLM land in Oregon. People can be cited, but OSP and the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office say they are working on educating people about the closures. People sometimes think that a recreation site, well, there might not be very many people. I can maintain that six feet or 10 feet or whatever away from people, but um, a lot more people have the same idea. That While some trails are open, it's important to note that if something were to happen, it puts a strain on local resources. So some of those emergency response times could be increased and it's putting more people, more people at risk. In the Columbia River National Scenic Area, all forest lands are closed, including trails. So you'll need to check before you decide to go anywhere other than home. So the more we can respect those closures, um, the more we can help slow the spread of COVID-19. Both BLM and the Forest Service are asking people to stay home, get outside in your own neighborhoods. Reporting from the Mount Hood National Forest, Jacqueline Abad, Point Six News. All right.